on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. A lot of fathers that are in the position that I'm in where, you know, we don't have sole custody. Um, we don't have equal visitation. You know, we have uh, visitation plans <laughs> that sometimes, you know, um, work and a lot of other times don't work. Um, it puts our daughters, as far as it puts our daughters, in a precarious situation because she still got to go out in the world and it's still a modern world and you're still going to have all these outside influences telling, you know, hey, your education, that's what's most important. You don't need no man. You can do this all by yourself. And what I'm learning in this space is that, you know, the nuclear family, there's a war, there's a, an attack on, on the black nuclear family in particular. And uh, man, we way behind the eight ball. We have got to get it together. So, you know, answer the question flat out. No, no, we're not raising our daughters to be wise. It's going to be a great show. And this is the greatest show ever. So again, you guys look amazing. Uh, Kayla will be with us shortly. If you're just tuning in, make sure you guys get them likes up. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Anybody cook today? Yeah. Ladies, yeah, at my family's house, I help cook the macaroni, the stuffing. Um, we do like a Caribbean rice. Um, not, I don't know what y'all cook. Um, it's what type of rice y'all cook, but a Caribbean rice and the ham. Ham is my favorite, so help with that uh, also. That did you dye? Did you dye your hair, Q? It looks good. Oh no, no. So it's been dyed, but I have it like back like this, so you can see more of the color on this side. But once it's down, it's all black. I just put some flexi rods in it. So this okay, is not really my natural. Yeah, thank I you. you. I I'm trying I like to do it. a different look for Thanksgiving. What's look, up, y'all? What's going hey, on? The hey, women are going. I have to get, to, have to get my going. situation right. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome, I'm trying welcome. to find somewhere quiet I can be. Like this whole house is so loud and full of people. So mine was the same way. I'm literally <laughs> in my conference room in my building. Because it's um, a mad, full-blown party that's going on in my crib. <laughs> oh, literally. Yeah. Well, hey, I like the fire in the back. You see yes, the I love that. It, it looks so calming. Wow. It's very calming. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Is that a... Um, what are those? Cat? What is that? At the top right there. What is that? With, it's the cat Ooh, house. Ears. Cat. What's it called? Ears. Oh, the ears. ears. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just noticed it. I mean, it was sparkling. I mean, I seen the fire. I'm like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, little ears. I'm just waiting on the, on the teacup and you get a... <laughs> Y'all know I love cats. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> the cats. The cats. Yep. Yep. All right, let's get the show started, man. Let's get the show started. So as you guys know, uh, the topic of today, are we raising our daughters to be wives? Are we raising our daughters to be wives. I'm just wondering if uh, if some of you guys' daughters are in the kitchen helping to cook, if they were cleaning, if they were helping to prepare for friends and family to come over, if they were serving the men of the house and the sons of the house, their place first. I'm just wondering, are we raising our daughters to be wives? What this space has taught me is that I needed to do some deep soul searching myself because uh, just off the conversations that we've been having, I've been questioning myself, am I raising my daughter to be a wife? I recently uh, mentioned on King Talk that I told my daughter that I'm going to raise you to be a, a wife, right? This is what I told her. What comes to mind, and this is uh, like to the women, you don't have to answer now, but just the people that's watching, the women that's watching, the women on the panel, what comes to mind when you hear that, are we raising our daughter to be wives? What comes to mind? Just think about it for a second. I received a little bit of criticism from the women because they felt that there are other things that are more important than to be raising our daughters to be wives. They want to raise them to be responsible and, and how to make sound decisions and so forth. And so I'm sitting there thinking, like, why isn't this important? You know, why can't all of these things be important? Like, her being able to make uh, sound decisions and being able to be raised to be a wife and being able to be able to uh, just, you know, just be her. I think that it's very important for us to raise our daughters to be wives. And I didn't really understand the importance of it until we were having these tough conversations 
um, on the platform. I also told my daughter that I'm going to make sure that I be a good example as a man because it, it, it falls on both parents. It's not just the mother. And typically when I say that, the women get offended, some, not all, because they're thinking that when you ask the question, are we raising our daughters to be wives, that it just falls on them. Are we raising our daughters to be wives? This could be the reason why so many women today are over the age of 30, single, never been married with no kids. Are we raising our daughters to be wives? Let's talk about it. I'm going to start with you, Rella. I mean, the obvious answer to that question is um, no, <laughs> we aren't raising. And, and and you're right, it does fall on both parents. Um, you know, I know I'm guilty of putting majority of the training of my daughters on their mother. Right. And uh, I've always tried to set myself as an example. Um, and when I miss it, I always try and point that out for them too, because I do want them to see in real time that, you know, I'm I'm not um, above or beyond reproach, that I'm human, that I do error sometimes, but watch how I correct, watch how I bounce back. But I thought about that when we were talking on King Talk too, uh, JR, and I thought about the question, even when I saw the thumbnail and I was convicted more because I know even with my little ladybug, you know, she's she's not being, she's trained to do chores, you know, she's trained to cook, she's trained to clean, she, she's learning that stuff. But in terms of having the heart to serve and work interdependent, um, you know, I know for a fact she's she's not necessarily getting that. And I know by and large, a lot of fathers that are, in the position that I'm in where, you know, we don't have sole custody. Um, we don't have equal visitation. You know, we have uh, visitation plans <laughs> that sometimes, you know, um, work and a lot of other times don't work. Um, it puts our daughters, as far as it puts our daughters in a precarious situation because she still got to go out in the world and it's still a modern world. And you're still going to have all these outside influences telling, you know, hey, your education, that's what's most important. You don't need no man. You can do this all by yourself. And what I'm learning in this space is that, you know, the nuclear family, there's a war. There's a, an attack on, on the black nuclear family in particular. And, uh, man, we way behind the eight ball. We have got to get it together. So, you know, answer the question flat out. No, no, we're not raising our daughters to be wise.